telling you, despite rumors, sculptors do not have little elves that come in at night and work on their pieces and create them. Uh, it's exactly where I left it off last week. Anyway, what I'm doing this morning is I'm going to start covering up the, uh, the blanket with clay and start uh, deciding whether I'm going to make it into a buffalo robe or a blanket. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. I will decide that uh, later on today. What I'm doing is I'm, I've decided to go with a buffalo robe instead of the blanket after all. And uh, so what I'm doing is adding some more clay to uh, uh, you know, make it look a little more interesting as far as the, uh, the hair and the fur of the buffalo robe. Um, I got to thinking about it over the weekend and I just think it would be a lot more interesting than a, uh, you know, a, a this time frame you got the Hudson Bay blanket being traded by Mountain Man and, uh, and the uh, Hudson Bay Company. And you got gray blankets with red stripes and uh, white blankets with uh, multicolored stripes and red blankets with uh, black stripes. I, it, it's fine, but I think it just could be, I can add to the, the dynamics of this piece by making it a buffalo robe. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I've cut off the, uh, the, the squared off uh, part of the blanket so it looks more uh, fluid, more more uh, like a skin. Um, I'll put little stretch things here, um, make fur down here, and this will be the uh, skin part here, and the fur here, and skin part here, and that gives me different textures that I can play with uh, that will complement the uh, total piece. So that's where I'm at right now, and I might end up cutting this. I don't know, maybe I won't. Uh, I've got to make it look like a buffalo robe though. So that's going to be a, a challenge, but I'm up to it. Okay, I'm going to show you a little secret here. What I'm doing is I've, I had this clay sitting underneath the light and it's getting really melty. And uh, so I put the light back down on the clay, real close. And just, but you can see how I'm doing that just dabbing it just like uh, you would if you were dabbing mashed potatoes. Same thing. About the same consistency actually. and increased the, the, the uh, thickness of the uh, robe and actually made a new wrinkles. So it looks more like a buffalo robe. It looks, uh, you know, like a skin instead of like a cloth or a blanket. And uh, this is where the sculpting part comes in. And uh, I've also uh, filled in a, a deep crevice there and uh, I've thickened up the, uh, the fold here. Um, this is all going to uh, making this look more like a buffalo robe instead of a, a blanket.
legs up. And uh, tomorrow I'll put the beadwork on the uh, legging there along with the fringe. The uh, fringe and the beading on that legging will be hidden by the uh, blanket, so I won't be doing that. I might put some fringe coming out from behind here, uh, just wrapping around the leg.